Alright guys, I got another 6.0, believe it or not. I haven't seen 6.0s in about two years, and now we're getting... I got three big trucks I'm working on all at the same time, different problems. Uh, this one is the, the all-too-common crank no-start low ICP. If you have a no-start, and you have these codes for ICP too low, that's what it's seeing during cranking. Now this one's cold, usually happens when it's hot. Um, don't worry about those other codes at all. Concentrate on getting the ICP to the range it has to be to fire, and then we can go from there with dealing with those other codes, which are performance and emissions codes. This code right here is the one you want to concentrate on for the, the no start, and, and we'll get it started and we'll go from there. Now the absolute first thing you want to do is make sure you have oil in the oil pan. If you have no oil, we can't uh, pump it and feed the high pressure pump, and we're not going to be able to create the ICP pressure, and we are not going to start the vehicle. So I checked the oil level, and it's right at the bottom of the hash marks, but it has plenty of oil in there, um, definitely to fire. Next, you're going to want to check oil pressure, the base low pressure oil pressure. So what you can do, if you don't have an oil pressure gauge, or anything like that, um, what you can do is crank it. And if that oil pressure gauge on the cluster here actually goes to a reading of pressure, then you can almost guarantee that your low pressure pump is at least sufficient enough to um, supply that high pressure pump. So without even pulling the oil filter and seeing there's oil in there, without um, pulling the check ball and the pressure regulator from the front of the oil pump for the low pressure pump, without putting a gauge on there, we've basically, uh, in my experience, if that thing shows oil pressure, it's supplying enough to feed that high pressure pump. So we should be out of the realm of the low pressure oil uh, system at this point. That took about 10, 15 seconds of cranking. It was just shortened for the video, obviously. But that's one way to tell without getting so intrusive. Next, you're going to want to connect your scan tool, which I'm sure if you own a 6.0 or even a 6.4, you're going to have some kind of basic scan tool that can show you codes and some basic information from at least the PCM. What you're going to want to look at is um, the ICP uh, voltage and the pressure and the IPR. So right now we're at uh, 0.24 volts for the ICP sensor. That's perfect for this year for uh, no pressure in the system. It's reading no pressure. And then our IPR is at the base rating right now. So we know the ICP sensor is not biased. Now we're going to crank it. Make sure you have plenty of uh, cranking voltage and we're going to watch it. IPR is fully closed off and we're only getting 30 psi if we're lucky. With it being that low, the next step would be to do a high pressure oil rail air test and uh, I'll, I'll show you how to do that next. So the good thing is that 04 and a quarter on, they moved the ICP sensor up here to the very front of the valve cover next to the oil fill spout here. Uh, makes it a lot easier, but then they introduced all those new problems with the new uh, high pressure oil rail design and all that for the leaks. So, and uh, high pop fitting in the back too. So, come over here, get the connector off of there. This is where we're going to put the air into to do the high pressure test, air test, and then unscrew your ICP sensor, it's a 15 16 get that out of the way, you're going to have a little bit of oil leakage, and then you're going to have your um, test adapter, which Ford calls out for, and an air fitting on here for your air compressor system. Screw it into the same port. And 
that one has a hex of an 18 millimeter on here. So all I gotta do is snug that up. Snug it up a little bit. Alright, make sure that your fitting for your airline that goes on there has uh, some kind of thread sealing on there so you don't get no air leaks from right here and where, you know, none of this has air leaks so we're confused where the air leak is coming from. So I got air on there, 150 PSI, whatever it is, shop air, and you could hear it out of the whale fill cap. So you can listen. And now I'm going to turn on the IPR. Now in our scan tool we can actually command the IPR closed and listen for a change. Um, what you can do is apply voltage to it for a maximum of like, I think 30 seconds the engineer said. Uh, direct voltage to the solenoid but we can do it on the scan tool and then you listen for a change in air and you should hear a change. So what I use just like back in the day is a, a hose um, to listen for it stuck to your ear and the other side looking for the leak. Um, the leak is internal so we stick it in the oil fill spout here and make it hear so much better by being concentrated into your ear and uh, so I turned the IPR on all the way to 93 a minute ago and I was hearing exactly no change coming out of here as far as air pressure, uh, intensity, any kind of noises from the IPR closing, nothing. So I heard the IPR um, moving as far as um, you hear like this high pitched noise when I command it. but. Um, zero air air noise change so on this one I'm gonna go right after the IPR this truck has over 200,000 miles on it and uh, it's the original IPR and that's why I usually go after when they got some miles on them because IPRs don't fail that often and the customer made a comment he just had a high pressure pump put on there not too long ago I'm not sure exactly why or what they changed in doing so but I'm quite sure they changed the uh, snap to connect fitting and of course they changed the pump and it's been running ever since but the IPR is definitely original so we're going to go after that and we're going to swap it out and we're going to retest alright we're going to crank it right now and we'll see if I uh, fix it or not Gonna take a while. We're building the ICP. Everything's great. Still in the rail. It's gonna run like crap for a while, and then it'll smooth out. You see how it's running right now? One of these cylinders has too much air in it. The high pressure oil rail. All right, you can see we got multiple mil cylinders misfiring here. That's from the air in the system. Don't fret about it. Rev it up a couple times and they should clear out one by one or all at once. See, it's starting to come back. 